Hey YouTube, um, back again. We're starting to, to clean the bottom of the frame. Um, I'm not cleaning the entire bottom of the frame, I'm just cleaning the areas where I'm putting in the new cross members. Um, there's going to be one here, um, this one will be removed and there will be a new one put in here. There's going to be one here, here, again this one will be removed and, and there will be a new one put here and then one right here. There will eventually be one here, but we're not going to do that just now because we're going to eventually rebuild the, the entire front end of this trailer with the tongue set up and everything. That's just not happening in this go around. So we're going to use some two inch angle, um, quarter, inch, um, quarter inch thick. So, okay, so I've got this brace clamped in. It's all squared up clamped in. It's actually, I chose not to square it up to the ends because I don't know how square the frame of this trailer is, so I'm squaring everything up to the axle center. Um, so that's squared up and then I have this brace clamped in already and that's squared up. So I'm getting ready to weld that right now. I'm going to show you guys that process. Once I get that done, I'm going to re remove this one and probably this one before I weld any more braces on. So, we put you guys in the tripod and we'll get to some welding. And no, I'm not wearing the proper welding attire. And I should be. <laughs> I cleaned this metal up a little bit, but I know and I can tell already that I'm probably going to break out my angle grinder and actually use a grinding disc for the other ones. Um, I'm not getting good contact on it. There's a lot of spatter going on, burning the hell out of me. Um, I should be wearing long sleeves, yes I know, but I'm not. And that's just the way it's going to be. Um, Anyway, so I think I might come in here and, and like grind this to shiny metal just because it, like I said, it's spattering a lot. I'm getting good welds when I've, when I've got enough clearance, but when I don't have clearance, it's, the welds aren't the greatest. So, that's what I was doing. So, we're going to continue to do that all the way across. Um, like I said, I'm going to remove those two cross members here in just a minute so um, talk to you guys in a second okay so I broke out my Everlast um, Power Plasma 50 connected to my California Air Tools 46 
20A ultra quiet air compressor so that I could cut off these cross members here, the braces. Um, that went pretty smoothly. They were pretty much rotted out and falling down anyway. So I got those cut out. It's time for dinner, but I've got to come back in here and get the rest of that, the little leftover pieces off of there. Um, not necessarily this one over here that's above the axle, because um, I'm going to be putting a brace here, not above the axle. I'll just so I'll just clean that up so it doesn't look so jagged and you know like you need a tetanus shot type thing. Um, but this one and that one down there, I definitely need to clean up because there's a brace that goes right there. And, and the same thing with this one and this one. Okay, so. Um, just wanted to show you that real quick, and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, everyone, I got all the bottom cross members in, all six of them. Um, everything's welded up. Um, with the exception of right in here, it's a little too tight, and I'm just making a mess in there. Um, I tried to get the top, but again, it's a mess in there. When I flip it over, I'm going to weld the bead across here and, and then just tack it a little bit like right in here in the corner and it, it should be fine. Um, it's got a full bead on that side. I might actually put one right there as well just to, just to ensure that it's, you know, it's nice and strong. <coughs> but as far as everything else is concerned on these cross members, everything's welded up, everything's good to go. And we're about ready to lay this thing, thing down flat and start working on the, the vertical pieces that go for the, the side railing. And not much more left. I would say we're about halfway done. So, talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, so, trailer's done for now. Stage one anyways. Um, the owner's getting ready to come pick it up. I know I skipped a lot of my videos, but... I don't think it really makes too big of a difference. Basically, I put these vertical posts in. I put the little shackle here, the tie down shackle. So there was one, two, three. There was actually four back here and five. Um, there's a shackle back here, one there, and then one back there. I relocated the spare. The spare was over here on the tongue. I put it over here. Basically, there was a vertical post already there. I put one next to it, put some 3 16 plate, and welded the, the tire bracket onto there. Um, I burnt the hell out of myself. And the same thing on this side. Um, there was this, a bunch of this strip here. See this flat bar that's laying there? It's like one inch flat bar. It was all, you can see here where I got plasma gouged it out of there. I don't know why, but they had that flat bar sandwiching the plywood that was for the floor of this. They had it sandwiching in there instead of using bolts. So I went and gouged all that out of there so that the owner could lay plywood back in here and not have a major ordeal on his hands trying to do that. So it's all wrapped up. I think it turned out good. Stage two is going to be completely rebuilding the tongue of this trailer. And potentially, um, depending on if the owner decides he wants to do it, um, building a toolbox up here in the front to put the winch in. And he's gonna go with a bigger winch. But to put a winch and the battery in, and some tools, some straps, and stuff like that. Um, we're also gonna be swapping out that axle at some point and obviously putting fenders on it. So, anyway, I just wanted to finish up this video series since the trailer's done. Uh, sus subscribe, comment, like, um, check out the links in the description. Alvarez Metalworks is my website, alvarezmetalworks.com. Please check it out. Um, like my Facebook page. Uh, you'll find the link either on alvarezmetalworks.com or you can look at my channel's homepage. Um, Check out Everlast. I use my Everlast Power Plasma 50 for this and my Everlast Power iMig 200 for this one as well. So, thanks for watching and talk to you guys later.